The tree of heaven has compound leaves. That means that in each of these images, you are not looking at a string of separate leaves, but rather a single leaf, which then is divided into a string of leaflets. In fact, the tree of heaven has between 11 and 41 leaflets in a chain, more than, say, walnuts and butternuts, which look similar. One can tell that these are compound leaves because the leaflets do not have a swollen base where they meet the rachis. Uh, instead, one would have to go uh, further to find the swollen base of the leaf where it has a bud and meets the stem. And so these are compound leaves. Although the arrangement of the leaflets is similar to walnuts and butternuts, which are also compound leaf trees, um, the twigs of the tree of heaven are reddish, unlike uh, those of walnuts and butternuts. Uh, the uh, leaflets, as they first uh, form in spring, are reddish. The flowers look different, and the fruits look different. One does not see a walnut or a butternut. Um, as a fruit. The tree of heaven is an attractive tree with a yellow foliage in autumn and it grows quickly and for that reason it was introduced into the United States and was often chosen by landscapers as a tree to plant. Um, however, it is not native to our area. It is invasive and it thrives at the expense of native trees. In fact, it very aggressively lays down roots which inhibit and can even kill uh, uh, surrounding uh, plants. In addition, this is the preferred host of an invasive insect, the spotted lanternfly. Both the tree of heaven and spotted lanternfly originate from China. And so this spotted lanternfly, which can then spread from trees of heaven uh, to native trees and uh, be a pest on fruit-bearing trees, uh, this insect uh, thrives in an area at first by infesting the tree of heaven, once again, its preferred host. And so not only is the tree of heaven an invasive uh, species, uh, which is a threat to native plants, and changing the habitat, which affects native animals, um, but also it is now the host of this invasive insect, which is now a threat to other plants and the cultivation of fruit trees. In the past year, I have noticed far more spotted lanternflies and in greater numbers on trees of heaven in northeastern Pennsylvania and nearby New York and New Jersey uh, than I have ever uh, seen before. So I've included some of that video with a song I had made previously uh, about the spotter and lanternfly in the background. You don't belong here, you should die, invasive spotted lanternfly. Homeowners, orchard growers fear your damage reproducing here. Native to China, you were seen in PA in 2014. On native trees and crops you feast as you spread through the Northeast. As your mouth parts suck the sap, lantern flies a plant can wrap. Weakened plants, more bugs take hold, excretions can encourage mold. Tree of heaven is your host, this invasive tree you love the most. Cut it down, park rangers say, it's not native anyway. Quarantine.
friend teens have made it clear lantern flies not wanted here you don't belong here you should die invasive spotted lantern flies